2017 Nissan X-Trail 2.0D Techno 4WD Review From 22,195 pounds 7. Point. New 2.0 liter diesel will please those after an X-Trail with more pulling power, but the consequently worse fuel economy makes it hard to recommend. What is it? In a market where a growing crowd is making it getting increasingly difficult to stand out, the Nissan X-Trail makes a good case for itself. It's a comfortable and practical large SUV, and a common sight on UK roads. It has a problem, though. Nissan has until now only given buyers one diesel engine choice in the X-Trail, a 128bhp 1.6 liter unit, and while it's competitive in terms of fuel economy and CO2 emissions, it isn't particularly quick. It's a compromised package, and drivers seeking a stronger X-Trail have long been praying for Nissan to give the car a larger, more powerful diesel motor. Well, those prayers have been answered, because now there's a larger 175bhp 2.0 liter diesel on offer. Nissan expects this engine to account for a quarter of X-Trail sales in the UK from now on, so it's an important addition for the brand. What's it like? Fuel economy and CO2 emissions have been a big draw for X-Trail buyers so far, because while the existing 1.6 diesel isn't as powerful as the big units found in most rivals, it is cleaner and more efficient. With this more powerful version, official fuel economy has dropped to 50.5 mpg, while CO2 emissions stand at 149 g/km, although we averaged a more realistically achievable 38.1 mpg on our fairly calm test drive. There's certainly more low-end pulling power, but it runs out of puff higher up the rev range and similar diesels in rivals such as the Mazda CX-5 or Hyundai Santa Fe are more flexible still. Still, although the extra power will no doubt please some buyers, many of the X-Trail's niggles persist, the engine is still very vocal and sends lots of noise and vibration inside under load. There is a slightly better throttle response with this engine, though, and it combines well with the standard 6-speed manual transmission. A CVT automatic gearbox is also available, marking the first time you can get a four-wheel drive X-Trail with an automatic, something Nissan says buyers have also been asking for, but it's not easy to recommend. It is quieter than many other CVTS, and if you're planning on spending most of your time in the city then it could make sense, but on the motorway the elastic band nature of the power delivery grates. Our X-Trail's four-wheel drive system provides good traction over loose surfaces, but in reality you're unlikely to need the system very often in the UK unless you plan on climbing mountains or fording streams on the weekends. If you do choose the four-wheel drive model, then the added low-end torque of this 2.0-liter engine seems like a good fit. Frankly, though, we'd be tempted to save money and stick with a front-wheel drive model. Elsewhere, as you might expect, this new X-Trail variant is very much the same as the existing car. The ride is comfortable over most surfaces, and while the handling isn't set up to provide engagement, it's reassuringly sure-footed. The interior, too, while not revolutionary, has all the ergonomic benefits of the big-selling cash K. Should I buy one? There's the hit in fuel economy and CO2 to consider here, because even with a manual gearbox the new 2.0-liter engine falls some way short of the existing 1.6-liter diesel's 57.6 mpg and 129g-km figures. Under the current road tax system, you'll pay £35 more per year for the 2.0-liter X-Trail, as well as spending more time and money at the fuel pumps. It's also worth noting this X-Trail's pricing, which at £33,760 is more expensive than similar versions of the CX-5 and Santa Fe. Nissan only offers the 2.0-liter engine on a Santa trim and above, so entry-level Vizia models miss out. The price leap is fairly substantial, a 2.0-liter engine Descenta X-Trail costs £1,250 more than if you stick with a 1.6-liter unit. That said, if you're one of the existing X-Trail owners who've been looking for a more powerful version of the car, then you'll be largely happy with this result. 
Likewise, if you are used to the similarly sized engines in other large SUVs, then buying an X-Trail will no longer feel like such a backward step. It's good news if you plan on towing, too, because the towing capacity of this X-Trail has been raised by 150 kg to 1650 kg if you opt for the CVT transmission. Otherwise, manual versions remain at 2000 kg, and it's worth remembering that the Santa Fe will tow 2500 kg. Ultimately, we'd stick with the current 1.6-liter engine, because while it's a little slower than rivals, it's not really noticeable under everyday conditions, and the extra fuel efficiency is a welcome bonus. Nissan X-Trail 2.0 Tecna 4WD Location, Switzerland, on sale, January, price, £33,760, engine, 1,995 cubic centimeters, 4-cylinder, diesel, power, 175 bhp at 3750 rpm, torque, 280 pounds foot at 2000 rpm, gearbox, 6-speed manual. Curb weight, 1,675 kilograms. 0 to 62 miles per hour, 9.4 sec. Top speed, 127 miles per hour. Economy, 50.5 mpg. CO2 slash tax band, 149g slash km, 29%. Rivals, Ford Kuga, Mazda CX-5, Hyundai Santa Fe.